Hey guys, so in this quick little video here, I want to try out some benchmarking here with the latest version of iOS, uh, the iOS 7.1 Beta 3 update. So let's just first of all, we have my 5S, my iPhone 5, 4S, the iPhone 4, and you can see here, it's the latest beta with the new power uh, updates, power down menu here. And you can also see here, They don't have anything opened up. So let's just fire up Geekbench here. And of course, it's going to be quickest on the iPhone 5S because that's the latest iPhone. And slowest here to the right side. Interesting here, the color of this iPhone is a little bit different here. Hmm. Not sure why. Wow, that was quick. That was intense, bro. Wow. So I got a score of 1,417 on the, uh, on the 5S on the single core score. 2570 uh, on the dual model core score, which is basically most of the times you just add them up. And all of these iPhones here, no, not all of them, uh, but no one has like four cores, anything in iPhones at the moment. Uh, but the iPhone 4 still has only single core. You can see a big difference there uh, on the iPhone 5 and the 5S, how Apple used to have it crammed in more power in the 5S. And this benchmark test will definitely take a long time here uh, on these other phones. The 4S and the iPhone 4. 4S basically uh, an iPhone 4 but with an extra core. But the clock core that seems to be clocked the same, I think maybe like 800 megahertz. But it's, it's really making a big difference in, in terms of the UI and one extra core to put it a lot of work on. It's actually making a massive difference in the whole kind of thing. And it's going to take some time, but you can never see that Apple is doing some amazing updates. I think the iPhone 5 is like three times faster than the 4S. And there's a lot. That is huge. And that maybe like six times the iPhone 5 then, maybe like six times or something. I'm not so good at math, but like six times faster than the iPhone 4, which is a long time. It's a long time, guys. But that's just the way it is. And there we go. Yeah, uh, 218, um, almost like three times the iPhone 5 in terms of speed compared to a 4S. That's a lot. That's an amazing update. And now we just have to wait a long time ago, or a long time, until the score finally will pop up here on the baby, on the baby phone. But it's really, really cool to see like 413 and then 1300 and then 2570 when they add those 
uh, together, how big, big difference it is. I mean, it's pretty massive. It's pretty intense. Okay, there we go. So we got a score now on the on the DASA iPhone 4. It's a big update. It's a big difference. I'm gonna look at this 214, 218. A little bit lower than the single core, but hey. Uh, but yeah, you can see big, insane difference. Wow, uh, very, very impressive stuff here. So I like it. I find it pretty cool. So yeah, let's quickly look here. Peace out.